السلام علیکم ناظرین میں محمد کلیم ٹرانس نیوز آف انڈیا کی جانب سے آپ کا استقبال کرتا ہوں دیکھتے ہیں آج کی اہم خبریں
public management and inclusive quality of life of citizen. In fact, let me also remind all the IPS officers here and also other officers of the law. 
Most of you who did not know the Dalit in Telangana, not most of you, but some of you, who did not know what was to be expected, had given option elsewhere, but then also it was removed and most people decided and said, okay, I have one pretty new Telangana. But the point I'm trying to make is, what has happened in the last six, six and a half years is nothing but a stump, nothing short of a stump. Stable government, when I say stable, it's just not political stability. We have the numbers, of course, the democracy numbers do matter. And looking at the current United States elections also, you would realize democracies across the world, you know, of course, continue to sometimes waver a bit, but effectively, numbers matter. And numbers go here since six years under the leadership of our honorable chief minister. Political stability only, and economic stability rather than Law and order are Shanti Badrata Sabeha Lekhote, Yanta Gopa policies, this is investment problem. And thanks to effective policing and Telangana Corps, determined efforts in the last year, you have to tell us that Sudam and the Matsukura community is here. Crime has come down. Technology, whatever intelligence we are going to produce here is going to be used by all the line departments so that their own service delivery at the cutting edge level is improved by multiple times. So I welcome you all. I also welcome all my esteemed colleagues from the police department uh, who have been a backbone for uh, the government and also to the department who have been part of this entire effort in bringing this facility up today. Sir, the Hyderabad Safe and Smart City project was conceived with an objective for uh, citizen friendly, holistic, integrated, and responsive CCTV based surveillance system for the cities of Hyderabad, Hyderabad, and Rajapunda. And to main, transform the traffic management system from today's technology into a safer, more efficient, and a demonstrative system for the future. The project is in alignment with the vision of Telangana government and Telangana police to create safe and secure communities through planned and accountable policing, to provide reassurance and responsive police services, to effectively prevent and control organized crimes, to improve road safety, handling accidents, disasters and crisis management, to improve overall the quality of life of every citizen living here and ensure safer living conditions for them. The nerve center of this project is the Telangana Police Public Safety Integrated Operation Center which is launched today, which hosts the Integration Operation Command, Computer Aided Dispatch, Call Taking and Call Dispatcher, and the State of War Data Center. Telangana Police Public Safety Integrated Operation Center provides a single view of 15,000 government cameras at one time, government and community CCTV cameras, and it brings in the feed at one time, one lakh cameras from all over the city, and then we will be able to view on the screen 15,000 cameras simultaneously at one time. And it, it has 126 geographically distributed command centers which are located in the respective police stations, so that each police station can have a similar command center set up in their own police station and then do the policing on 24 by 7 more nearer to the field uh, activities that would empower the police officers at the cutting edge level. They would take more interest, get embedded into the technologies and use the technology for the benefit of the community. So, similarly, this uh, IOC is also capable of integrated traffic management through sensor-based traffic counting and classification and air-based enforcement and automatic challenging systems. So the Telangana State Public Safety IOC leverages cutting-edge technologies like big data analytics, data landscape, computer vision, facial recognition, IoT integration, data correlation, machine learning, geospatial analytics, cyber security, and so on and so forth. The name and technology that is available in the market, today we have used it in a small way or a big way, but our vision is to observe all the developing technologies as the time goes, so that we are always ahead of the offenders. 
As you know, the offenders are the first to use the technologies and then commit crime. If you see the cyber crimes today, all over the world, people are uh, coming into the cyber space and then making the you know, local populations, people of Telangana, people of Hyderabad, people of various states, that they are becoming the victims. Therefore, if we have to counter the efforts of these cyber offenders and other offenders who are using the latest technologies, police has to be ahead of all the uh, you know, stakeholders so that we are in a position to neutralize their efforts and prevent crime. Therefore, the, 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 the efficacy of the police department is in our ability to prevent rather than dealing, uh, allowing a crime to happen and then dealing with it. Therefore, we give a lot of importance to the crime prevention so that the people at large feel safe, secure and always they know that the police is available and they is going to be used by all the crime departments so that their own service is going to be the next level is improved by multiple times. So I welcome you all. I also welcome all my esteemed colleagues from the police department uh, who have been in the backbone for uh, the government and also to the department who have been part of this entire effort in bringing this facility on today. Sir, so, the Hyderabad State and Smart City project was conceived with an objective for uh, citizen friendly holistic, integrated and responsive CCTV based surveillance system for the cities of Hyderabad, Hyderabad and Rajapata and to make, transform the traffic management system from today's technology into a safer, more efficient and a demonstrative system for the future. The project is in alignment with the vision of Telangana government and Telangana police to create safe and secure communities through planning and accountable policing, to provide reassurance and responsive police services to effectively prevent and control organized crimes, to improve road safety, handling accidents, disasters and crisis management, to improve overall the quality of life of every citizen living here and ensure safer living conditions for them. The nerve center of this project is the Telangana Police Public Safety Integrated Operations Center which is launched today, which hosts